משנה יומי, יא, מסכת במציאה פרק ח', משנה ז' ח', אוקיי? Okay? Eighth chapter, seven and eight, משנה seven and eight. המשכיל בית וחברו. If the one that's renting a house from your friend. המשכיל חיה בדלת, בנגד ובמנעול. So the, the one that's renting, he's obligated to place the door, the bolt, which is the lock, right? And a lock. So the bolt is to secure the door from the inside, and the lock is to secure the door from the outside. They had two different names for it. For us, we just call it a lock, the gamarno, right? from the inside and outside, but here it's called two different things, the neged and the manul. So the neged was like a bolt. Many times it was like a piece of wood, a plank of wood that they used to put on the inside of the door where it had two types of like uh, L's sticking out, and then they would try to push in the door and they weren't able to because they put the neged. And the manul is from the outside. And anything that requires an uman to fix. But anything which is not require a professional. The renter must do it himself. So this is all the re- the, the owner, right? Let's just call the owner and the, the maskir, which is the owner and the renter. So the owner has to put the door and all these things, right? And anything which is maase uman. And the renter is anything which is not maase uman, right? He has to do it. Azevel shel balabait. The manure by someone else's animals belongs to the owner of the house, not the renter. Because since the courtyard was not in, included in the rent, so therefore it belongs to the owner of the house. So the renter only has that which comes in from the oven and the stove, right, in the courtyard. That is basically any ash which is left behind by people using the oven and the stone. That belongs to the person that rented the house. That was Mishnah Zain. Mishnah Chet. Hamaskir bay lechavero the shana, you're going to rent out the, the house to another person for a year. Nitabra shana, and it became a leap year. Nitabra la sochet. So therefore it's added for the renter, which means he does not have to pay an extra month. Hiskilo lo chodashim, but if he rented it per month, nitabra la shana, and then it became a, a leap year, so then it's the owner that gets that extra month. You remember we spoke about this already. Maase, but Sipori, there was a story in Sipori, lechad shetzachar mechat mechavero, that somebody came and he rented a bathhouse from the friend. Shema sar zahav l'shana. For 12 zahav, 12 dinere zahav for a year. Okay, midina zahav l'chodesh. Which is going to be one dinar per month. And then the story came in front of Rosh Gamliel. And in front of Rabbi Yosef. And they said, yachlok et chodesh haibur. They have to divide the chodesh haibur. Why? Because basically what's happening here is, is that you have a problem here. Because ki'ilu, right, what's going on? Mitzad echad, you said l'shana. But then you said, Dina lecha lechodesh. Ve'achshav, ze niya, shana mu'beret. So what do you do with the extra month? Okay? 